Well, hey everyone, this is Mr. Pearson from Mr. Pearson Teaches Third Grade. And what we're going to discuss this time are how to identify mixed numbers on a number line. So let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> Now, if you remember, mixed numbers are fractions that use both whole numbers and parts to represent a group of objects or pieces. And they can be shown using numbers, like this one right here, which reads 1 and 3 fifths, by using models. So we have a one that's completely filled in, so that would be our whole. We have one of those, and then a, a model of 3 fifths, so 1 and 3 fifths. Or and this is new for us using a number line. Now while most mixed numbers are done with numbers or models, it's important to be able to read a mixed number on a number line. Now most number lines will go from 0 to 1, but in this case if you take a look, our number here is actually goes it's represented by three whole pieces. Here's the first one the second one number two and number three this might be uh, a very long candy bar or something cut into three sections and pushed back together now not only does the number line represent three whole pieces but each piece is then divided into three equal parts or as we know it thirds one third two thirds and three thirds so this is divided into three equal pieces on the number line below, all three sections of the first piece are covered. So this is going to represent one or one whole. You might even write this at fraction as three thirds. Now, what we've done is we've added two more pieces to the number line. So now we have one whole, and then we have the two pieces that were added. So two thirds of the pieces are filled. So this shows the mixed number 1 and 2 thirds because we have one whole section filled and then one, two of the three pieces filled, so 1 and 2 thirds. This particular number line, if you take a look at it, it represents uh, 0 to 4, so it has four pieces. And each piece has been divided into two or halves. So what mixed number is shown on this particular number line? Well, it, if you take a look, we have one whole section right here and another whole section right here. So this is one because it goes all the way to the one. And then it goes, we have two more sections that are filled in. So it takes us to two. So we have two whole parts and then an additional half. So this fraction is, or this mixed number is two and one half. All right, now this number line, if you look, it goes from 0 to 5, so it is equal to 5 pieces. And each of those pieces has been divided into three sections or thirds. So looking at the model on the screen, what mixed number is shown by this number line? Well, if you look closely at it, you're going to see that it's 3 and 1 third, because we have one whole section, two whole sections, three whole sections, and then an additional piece that's there. So three and one third is what the mixed number is. Now, when representing a mixed number on a number line, be sure to count how many pieces are on that number line. And then also make sure you carefully count how many sections each piece is divided into. Then after you've done that, count how many sections of the number line are filled in, and this is how you show a mixed number on a number line. So in our model down below, you can see that it's uh, representing three pieces. We go from zero to three. And each of those pieces is divided into three sections. So our denominator is going to be thirds because we divided it into three. All right. Well, this has been Mr. Pearson. And I hope that you were able to understand how to identify mixed numbers on a number line and I will see you in our next video. Thank you for watching.